Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is one that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. It is the character creation for the Demon Hunters, the new class in World of Warcraft Legion. This video will be looking across both of the sexes and both of the available races and we're going to be seeing all of the different options. It defaulted to Night Elf, so let's have a look at that starting off with the female character model. First of all, skin colors. So I'll just go through them pretty quickly here. As you can see, they're starting off in some pretty cool looking armor. I really like the skull detail there on the shoulders. Now, these are mostly the same skins, but you can see that a few of them are new textures. And in those new textures, you've got this kind of cracked skin and also some fell lines, both of which are looking pretty damn cool. I think I'd go for the fell line stuff personally. As for the faces, I would imagine they are pretty much the same as they normally are, though there is a new texture that seems to be a little bit more cracked and fell corrupted. Go back up to one. Next, hairstyles. From what I can tell, hairstyles are pretty limited in the... Uh, actually, it's technically the alpha currently, so hairstyles are definitely quite limited. Hair color appears to be the same as normal. I don't really see any new um, special hair colors for them. And as for the markings, they are... Um, I'll just remove uh, blindfold so we can see the markings a little bit better. They're pretty much your um, default markings from what I can tell. Um, right now my hair color is green, so they're kind of, kind of going to be confused with the fell markings, but there's a little bit of a look at the markings that are available. What you'd expect. Next, tattoos. Now, these are a brand new thing for the Demon Hunters. So, looking through, I've got to say, these are very badass looking. And a lot of the Demon Hunter armor is actually topless, which, um, in terms of it, like, it doesn't have a full chest piece, like, piece of armor, which means the tattoos really, really shine which I think is definitely looking quite cool. So we'll go with these big Illidan style ones. Next, horns. Let's have a look at the horns. So first of all, there's your no horn option. Here are some very big horns, very much Illidan style ones. Uh, moving on, we've got some more Draenei style ones and I'm um, just going through a few different options here. Not really that crazy. If you want to kind of have horns but wuss out, you can always go for this one. Cute little small horns. I'm actually reminded I completely forgot to check the blindfolds for the female model. So here's a look at the blindfolds. First of all, you can have green glowing eyes. That is beyond cool. Next, we've got um, a few different blindfold options. I think these look extremely cool. However, I would like to see more of these that extend beyond just your character creation options. Perhaps some things that could be unlockable. Next, the males. So we're going to start off looking through the skin color options for the males. As you can see, it's pretty much the general night elf thing where you've got a few different skin tones and we will eventually get into the demon hunter specific ones, which are probably going to be the fell corruption, which we can see there. And, of course, the cracked skin, which really, I mean, that must be really itchy and pretty horrible to have. Next, we'll go into the fell skin. Next, let's have a look at the faces. So, in terms of facial options, it's pretty much the same. I don't know if any of those are particularly new. I don't actually have a Night Elf male character. Hairstyles, I imagine, like with the females, are going to be the exact same as they were um, currently. Though, actually, no, I thought they were unique little um, bangle thingies, but they're actually not. So, it's essentially what you would expect for the hairstyles. Let's go through the male facial hair. So, essentially, it is the regular Night Elf affair. You've got a few different options. Yeah, it's, it's facial hair. It is what it is. Now then, tattoos. These look way better in the male character model. Why? Well, I mean, quite obviously, the male's not wearing a bra, so most of the tattoo is not obfuscated by something. I think this looks a lot cooler. Maybe they should have redesigned some of the female tattoos to take into account the fact the female model's wearing a bra, and therefore, you know, it's like we've got the same tattoo, but half of it's covered, so you don't really get the full kind of artistry of the design of the tattoo, I suppose. That's maybe a little bit of a criticism, so more tattoo options for the female character model would be um, very much appreciated. As for horns, well, it's pretty much the same as it was for the Night Owl females. And blindfolds are, once again... Actually, no, there's a few blindfolds that are, that, that are um, appear to be a little bit different. Yeah, we've got this one, which is a bit unbalanced. Yeah, very nice stuff. Alright, let's move on to the Blood Elves. Starting off with the Blood Elf male, of course, there's a lot going on with the Blood Elf models, I find. They're very stylish in their design, so that definitely translates in an interesting manner to the um, to the de Demon Hunter. Let's start off with the very top skin. So you're just going through the regular um, skin tones for the uh, for the Blood Elves. Nothing particularly special. And then, of course, we get into the Demon Hunter-specific ones, where you get that fell corruption. And then the bizarre cracked skin, which is kind of strange looking. Next, let's have a look at the faces. The faces are pretty much the same. Um, wait, no. No, that is different. I do not think we get, uh, yeah, no. There's actually some new facial options there for the Blood Elf. That's certainly nice to see. Yeah, actually, it would appear that these guys just have new faces. Next up, hairstyles. 
and they're pretty much the hairstyles that you all know and maybe love, maybe do not love. There's a lot going on between their ears and the horns, though. That's visually rather busy. Next, let's have a look at hair color. It's, um, again, the usual affair. It doesn't seem like being a demon hunter really gets you, like, a, you know, access to a special shop with unique hair dye that makes you look different. As for the facial hair, once again, we are pretty much looking at the same stuff. Next, tattoos. So, the tattoos, I would imagine, are the same. Yeah, so there's your kind of Illidan-style one, a few other colors, overall looking extremely badass. As for the horns, it seems like these mostly share the same horn styles. Gotta say, though, some of those are looking very, very cool. And as far as blindfolds go, we've got um, pretty much regular eyes, and we've got really glowy eyes. Very, very nice-looking Blood Elf-style blindfolds. I gotta say, that's very cool-looking, um, as is this one, and actually this one. Um, a more traditional one, and uh, just a few other options. Overall, I think looking extremely solid. And next, let's check out the Blood Elf female. So, looking through the skin tones, we see, again, it is much the same, but we will eventually get to the stage where we see the new textures, which are here. You can see um, up at the neck region, you've got some new fell corruption, and uh, then this, which really does affect a lot of the model, and I think definitely changes it from looking like the very kind of like beautiful designed um, skin texture to one that's a lot more rugged and corrupted looking, which I think is something that a lot of players are going to dig. Next, faces. So we might have a few new faces here based on what the other things look like. It, it seems like these... No, actually, there's no real new faces here. But again, this is the alpha client, so it's very likely that we'll be seeing um, things be added to this as time goes on. Moving through the hairstyles, they are the same hairstyles. There is no unique Demon Hunter Barber. All right, with that covered, let's look at hair colors. Again, they are pretty much what you would expect. As for earrings, I assume these are the standard selection of earrings that would be quite nice if they threw in a few Demon Hunter ones. Not sure if those green ones are Demon Hunter, though. Um, so yeah, there's a look at the earrings. And next, tattoos, the things which look really badass. You can see, like, you've got the, the formations of the really badass Illidan tattoo, and then they're covered. I feel like they should have made a different tattoo design, which would have actually fit what they have to work here. Um, work with here, maybe something around like the belly region, maybe a cool tattoo there. It just feels like the potential of having tattoos are kind of wasted here. Um, again, you know, you can see, like, you, you don't see much of the tattoo, which is really unfortunate because they look really, really cool. So, let's look at the horns. Again, horns um, looking, looking very nice. Only criticism is maybe the hairband doesn't look particularly sensible with the horns, and also they kind of look a little bit bolted on at times. But overall, I think the look does work. And as for blindfolds, we pretty much have quite similar options to the males, but there are a few less um, variations of the Blood Elf styled um, blindfolds, which is kind of unfortunate. Though this one does look really, really cool. So there's your options. Now I'm just going to quickly zoom you through what these look like with some more high-end looking armor. So here is them with uh, pretty cool looking armor, I've got to say. We'll flip it over to the male there, and uh, that is looking very, very badass as well. Moving on to the Night Elves. This Night Elf male is looking particularly tall. Yeah, actually significantly taller than the Blood Elf. I don't know if that's a thing in-game. I've never really noticed, but it definitely looks quite imposing. Again, that armor is very cool looking, and I do like how visually these Demon Hunters have a lot of strong colors going on. They're bright. You certainly know that they're there. And I'll finish it off with a Night Elf female, who, just like the male counterpart, is looking very damn good. I've got to say, I'm very impressed by what they've shown so far with the character creation. I do want to emphasize and stress, though, that it's early on in the alpha, and it is quite likely that we'll be seeing more customization options as time goes on. Okay, it looks like there is no cinematic, but lots of, uh, lots of um, night elves running, or lots of elves in general running around here. That is pretty fucking cool. I'm going to end the video around here, but man, look at Mardoon. That's, that's some 40k looking shite there. That's a spaceship. That's a spaceship. Wow. Um, overall, this place is looking very cool, I must say. Uh, we'll just do a few abilities here, so I'll hit one, see if anything happens. Okay, that does a bit of a run. Oh yeah, the double jump. Obviously the best feature of this expansion. And you can double jump and glide. Oh yeah, look at that. 
very, very nice looking. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, check it out every day. I will be doing so much Legion content, you won't be able to believe it, but it will be there. It will be great. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.